Hello, Ingrid. It's Rowan from Silver Tiger Media. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well indeed. Thank you. It's a thrill to speak with you. Thank you so much for your time. Sure. Look, I have to get this out of the way. I'm truly sorry about your mum. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a rough one. Um, yeah. But I, you know, thank you. That's that's kind. Thank you very much. But on a lighter note, congratulations on the new album, Lights Out. It's an absolutely beautiful collection of works. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, we put it out last year in the States, and um, I I really, I mean, everybody says their favorite record is the newest one. Um, so I that's how I feel about it, but I, I really love it. I love that it's... Um, a lot of my other pre, all of my other records, I just wrote all the songs myself and had one producer, and it was a bit isolated. And this one, I, I really felt the need to kind of go outside of, of, of what I normally had done, and I ended up writing with you know a lot of different writers and different producers, and yeah. um, came up with a really collaborative. What I feel, what I wanted to feel like a, like a kind of family affair, and I feel like that's what we got. Indeed, and you, know, you must be so proud of it, of course. Girls Chase Boys, what a fantastic track, and the video looked like so much fun to produce. Oh, yeah, that was really fun. I came up with the idea of just um, kind of uh, doing a gender flip on the that Robert Palmer video from the 80s, um, and um, the, the video is actually really fun to film in that I... I I really spent more time in like the makeup chair than I actually did in front of the camera. Most of the time, I was just sort of <laughs> sitting back and watching all these beautiful people um, dance around, and it was um, it was really really fun. Indeed, it must have been. And can I say, on behalf of all men, we're not the slightest bit offended. <laughs> Wait, what? Is, what did you say? The slightest what? <laughs> we're not the slightest bit offended. <laughs> yeah. It, Thank you. So, you know, some people, some some people were kind of. It's funny how, you know, put it if you put a man in tight clothing and lipstick, some people can't handle it. Um, but uh, for me, it was just it was meant to be good fun and um, just play on the this kind of severe gender roles that that we've imposed on our, on each other. And the song itself is about. You know, there's a line that says, girls chase boys, chase boys, chase girls, chase girls, chase boys. So it's sort of, you know, everybody is just, you know, kind of wanting the same thing. It doesn't matter your gender or your preference, you know. So we kind of wanted to pull that into the video idea. Indeed, and it worked beautifully. It worked for everybody. The only problem is it made me want to go to the gym straight away. <laughs> Yeah, I liked a lot of a lot of comments where like the guys, like the guys, like I just watched that and I I was kind of aroused and I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure if I was looking at a woman or a man. And I was like, that's the point, you know. You were supposed to know all the time. You're supposed to kind of be a little, you know, uncomfortable at times and question things. You're like, what am I looking at? But um, yeah, it was it was really fun. Oh, fantastic! Obviously, releasing it in February 2014 was a, a stroke of genius. Uh, do you think that contributed a great deal towards the interest in your album? Releasing it in in when? In uh, in 2014 in February, releasing it early. Oh, was that our, wait? That was we mean earlier than the record. I think so. I could have that wrong, of course, too. How oh no, see, I, my record my my record came out in April of 2014. Yes. So it really wasn't that that much earlier, but that's normally the way that that I do stuff is you release a single um, a couple months before the record just to kind of hopefully hopefully get some excitement um, going before the record. And um, I kind of knew with that video, I mean, I thought the song itself was pretty strong, but I was like, if you put a really great video along with it, um, that'd be really fun, but yeah. Indeed, and obviously it worked. I mean, the, the album debuting at an astounding number five on the Billboard 200 chart, but 37,000 copies in its first week, that's truly remarkable. 
Yeah, you know, I'm not Beyonce or, or <laughs> Katy Perry or anything like that, but, um, you know, I, I have my own label here, and um, we've, you know, I'm able to stay independent. And so um, I think for, for where I am, yeah, we we're very, very happy with how the record came out for sure. Absolutely. And six albums since 1995. What a remarkable career already and a huge following you have. What's kept you driven to produce music of such beautiful quality so quickly? Um, I don't... I, I, I just kind of make music as I feel like I want to make it. I don't... It doesn't to me seem like I'm making a lot. Um, it just sort of is the way that I think I am. I, I have a quick turnover also. Like I, I'll make a record and then after, you know, seven months of touring on it, I want to start making a new one. Um, I think it's just part of my personality is kind of very, I want to kind of go to the next thing, go to the next thing. And so I guess that translates to my music too. Indeed. And with the, the upbringing you had with mum sculpting and dad composing, uh, do you remember a time when you realized you were destined for an artistic musical career? Well, I always wanted to do theater. I thought theater and singing, those were two things that I really loved. And um, I went to school for musical theater. I did theater all my life growing up. I took voice lessons and piano lessons. So um, I just always wanted to do something in the arts. So my brother was raised you know, by the same parents in the same household, but he teaches math. So oh, okay. I feel like it it, <laughs> it, it, it does, yeah, I know, it's kind of funny, but I think it just, um, I think it's something you're, you're born with. I think it's yeah. something you're born with. And then if you're, if you're in an environment where you're fostered, where you're supported to do, to sort, you know, follow your dreams, then which I was, you know, I think because my parents were artistic and I think a lot of times artists, are very supportive and open-minded and of so I think that was you know where I what I grew up in and so I think it was very easy for me to sort of make that decision um but I do think it's just kind of something you're born with because if you know you would think my brother would have turned out similarly but he didn't Indeed. Um, well, the, perhaps he teaches math in a most beautiful and artistic way that's true maybe he does <laughs> <laughs> Look, You Got Me has such a tremendous feeling of soul, particularly with the opening. The entire album is really quite diverse. Is this your intention to include something for everybody? Um, not intentionally to include something for everybody. I think I just, again, the idea of bringing in lots of different writers and different producers is, is the, the idea of just having a, a diverse record for sure. Um I, I didn't want it to just kind of be the same song over and over again. More for myself, I think, than for anybody. Um, but that song actually is a pre-existing song written by Story Man. It was a really great band. And I loved the song, but I thought it kind of, I wanted to do like a pumped up version of it. So I wrote a, a, I wrote a verse to it and we kind of tweaked the chorus and we changed the key and we added some, some drums and, um, but, yeah, that was originally their song that I kind of, you know, gave a little revamp to. Yeah, a little oomph to it, absolutely. Open Hands showcases your beautiful voice so tremendously, uh, and it's a very moving song. I, I take my own meaning from it, but what is the meaning behind it from your point of view? That was um, during a time when my mother was going through a lot of treatments for her illness, and um, I, while I was always quite hopeful about everything, I think my fears came out in my writing. Um, yes. and so that was about the idea of letting go of someone that you love. And, and so it's, it's got a pretty deep, uh, meaning to me these days and performing it is definitely a challenge, but it's, it's definitely one of my, one of my favorite ones in the record. Absolutely, and along the same vein, I guess, it is wonderful unknown, in fact, tackling the mortality we all share. Yeah, that's that's an idea of sort of this 
when I was writing it, I had this picture of this vignette, these little vignettes of this couple, and you know, the first, the first verse is them, their first date in New York City, walking around together, and then the second vignette is the family, and they've got children, and then the third is their, you know, old couple on a park bench, kind of thinking and talking about their life, and and each time the wonderful unknown is a different, you know, unknown. So at first it's going into a new relationship, and then it's having children and growing old together, and then it's eventual passing. And so just, the, you know, at every turn there's some this unknown in front of us, and it keeps changing and shifting and um, and sort of just embracing that instead of running away from that. That's what the, the song is about. Absolutely, and look, it, it, it is a moving track. And so we have the pleasure of your company in Australia next week, and the response is incredibly yes. huge. It's great. I well, I've been there twice before, so every yes. time we've gone, the the, um, the shows have gone really well. The audiences are just so awesome and like kind and joyful, and there's this just sort of sense of of relaxed joy that I feel comes off of. Um, people and it's, it's it's I feel like are you are you which city are you? We'll be coming to see you in Melbourne. Yeah. Okay. So Sydney and Melbourne. I played Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, and was not Perth. Perth. I've well? only Perth this time I've been. Yeah. Perth is this is I've never been to Perth before. This is the first time. There's another another I can't think of the place. But I I remember Melbourne and Sydney always being very fun and um and just very boisterous and people just are just so I mean, I had a couple of days off in Sydney. The last time we were there our flight got cancelled. So we had oh, a whole gosh. day off in Sydney just to kind of do anything and um, we went shopping and eating, and we went to the, um, you know, all around the opera house, the, all the, like, the outdoor area and the park, and um, it was just, we went to the, oh, we went to the aquarium, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, the koalas. It was like, <laughs> I've always had such a good time there, and, and the shows are always so much fun, too, so um, the flight, the flight is the only thing that I'm dreading. Oh, but I know, get right. there, I'll be good. Indeed, we've recently gone over. To, we recently went over to LA, and it, oh, it's horrendous. Such a long flight. <laughs> yeah, that's why well, I'm in LA for a few days just because I'm from Brooklyn in New York. So I came yes. to LA yesterday just to have a couple of days here um, because it just breaks up that long flight a little bit more. Indeed, um, yeah, it's an extra so, five hours. So yeah. From yeah. Once, yeah. What is it? Yeah, it's another six hours to New York from L.A., so it, it kind of, it's, I mean, it's already a very long flight from L.A., but it just, you know, pushes you over the edge when you have to have a layover in L.A. and you go to New York, you're like, oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Well, like, wait, so while you're in Melbourne. We arrive, we, arrive in, we arrive in Sydney. I think we have a day to kind of get our bearings straight, and then we kind of hit the ground running. So oh, that one day will be good. I'll sort of figure out what time zone I'm in, kind of get on yeah. get on that. Try and get over that jet lag. Well, while you're in Melbourne, you hit us up and we'll take you on a little tour. That'd be our pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I haven't gotten a chance to explore that city because um, the way it usually works is we get to a city, you know, we fly the morning of the show, go to the venue, sound check, have the show, go to sleep, and then go to the airport the next day, fly to the next city. Because in the States, you can drive on a tour bus. You drive from one place to one place. But everything in um, the major markets in Australia are so spread out yeah. that we're always flying around. We end up having some time in, in, in Sydney usually because there's promo and press and things like that. But um, I, I, do, I do I do love it there. And I have family in, in, in near Sydney, so I'll probably oh, wonderful. see one in there. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Look, I've got to ask you, and I could speak with you all day. Unfortunately, time flies. Do, do you have a favorite track from Lights Out, personally? Um, it kind of changes a lot, but, but and, and sort of as I what I'm kind of needing to hear. And um, I think right now, the one that I feel sort of the most emotional and close to when I'm singing it is Home. Right. Um, there's something really just 
because I feel very um, transient right now. They're moving around a lot, and so my music sort of has to become my home, you know, and so when I'm singing that, it gives me a sense of sort of just stability right now in my life. But it does shift songs. My favorite songs are always shifting and changing. Mm. Well, we want to thank you very much for such a beautiful album. But I mean, the meaning behind the songs and a favorite shifts from day to day and hour to hour for us too. But thank you so much. It's a beautiful album. Thank you so much. A pleasure indeed. Look, we'll see you next week. We'll come and uh, pop out to Melbourne and, and visit you. Thank you very much for your time today, and we can't wait to catch up. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Terrific. Thank you so much, Ingrid.